Lauren, showdown script says you don't look at the premiership table, you don't look at form, you don't look at anything. Can your team live up to that reputation? The plan is to live up to showdown reputation, absolutely. We'll, um, we've will we prepared as best we can for tomorrow night and we're, we can't wait to put our best foot forward for there, four quarters. Is there a fair bit of correction that you've had to work on this week after what happened on the Gold Coast? Um, I think we we are developing an understanding of what our best footy looks like and we showed it two weeks ago and uh, we'll look to do that again tomorrow night. Very much about contested footy? I think so, yeah. Contest will be crucial tomorrow night. You've um, had what we would call a placid build-up to a showdown, so do the fireworks <laughs> happen in the game or is, it, is there something in store for us in the next 24 hours? I'm more than happy for you guys to build this up as much as you want to. I, I wouldn't say it's placid at all. I think... Um, Two, two very proud football clubs looking forward to the first ever women's showdown. Chad Corns has been building it up though, hasn't he? Coming and speaking <laughs> to your players. We did ask Chad to come and speak to the group on Tuesday and uh, that was fantastic insight into Chad's experience and um, yeah, it was great. How is the group feeling? What's the overall sort of vibe in the, in the change rooms? We trained here last night and that was, you know, it's a, it's a real vibe. This venue's... You know, it's it's amazing. I, I absolutely love Adelaide Oval, and, and our group does too. And so, um, yeah, the vibe's unreal. Is it fair to say you don't want this game to be, become a high-scoring one because of what Adelaide's shown recently? Or? No, not really. I think high-scoring footy is the best type of footy. You could match them in that regard. Do you think? Yeah. Who takes on um, Marinoff and Hatchard in the middle? Do you think? What's your plan for them? Yeah, certainly both having strong seasons and, and, you know, have had both really strong careers over seven seasons of AFLW. So, yeah, we um, we obviously have a pretty young midfield, but we also have a really quickly developing and connecting midfield, which which will have a nice little challenge ahead of them tomorrow night. You've got a fair bit of the Adelaide leadership group at your club. What have they <laughs> told you about yeah. the chinks and yeah. potential weaknesses or strengths of, of Adelaide? I think being an expansion team, you've got players from all over the country and certainly from Aaron Ange and Justine uh, having the impact that they did at the Crows and now being with us at Port Adelaide, there's, there's some level of insight there for us. But does the rivalry, does it already exist for you guys or did it have to be somewhat <laughs> injected? You know what I, mean? oh, I think both clubs being so proud and, and the history between both clubs allows for um, an epic showdown for us. How um, aggravated Chad is. What was that? Sorry. How animated did Chad? Ah, uh, Chad was um, Chad's on holiday, so he um, he was pretty calm. It was good. <laughs> so, so Lauren, just on just on understanding the the showdown rivalry, how much has that been absorbed by your group to understand what's on the line? Here? Yeah, we obviously pay attention to it, and and Chad spoke to it on Tuesday night, so it's relevant for us. And I guess at the forefront of us is is how we put our best foot forward tomorrow night for four quarters of footy. So, what did you learn that needs to be done? from the weekend of this game. How much do you take out of that one? Is it? Um, I think it's just returning to the team brand of footy that we play at Port Adelaide and um, the connection for us is, is vital and without giving too much away, Rooch, uh, yeah, we just return to what we know is our best footy. What sense of responsibility do you feel in a showdown? Because it's always built up as a bigger game and it means something bragging rights in this town. So <laughs> how does that sit on your shoulders? Particularly when you're just so new. I think every single game for us at Port Adelaide is, is very important and every single time we turn up, we put our best foot forward. What do you make of the rap battle tomorrow night? How do you think Levicki's going, particularly with McGrath out? <laughs> yeah, good question. Uh, Levicki's played five games of AFLW now and she's got a nice little challenge coming up against particularly McK McKinnon and, and Caitlin Gould, who we see's played a fair bit more forward this year. So, yeah, it'll be a nice challenge for Liv. Hey, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? I haven't seen it look any better, so they've done a great job. You know, for your tackling, do you expect <laughs> to be rewarded for it? <laughs> uh, I think as we talk about every week, we, we control what we control, and yeah, we certainly look to bring a lot of a hot contest tomorrow night. Obviously, you're coming up against quite an experienced team. What are the kind of main focuses to kind of dismantle that? I think we focus on our footy tomorrow night, and, and I think it's it's widely known that our brand of footy over five weeks has been really hot contest and we'll bring that. Um, and I'm, I'm really, really excited for all of our Port Adelaide people to turn up tomorrow night and see that. How does a young group sense that occasion? How do you think they're handling that? They're so excited. They're... Yeah, our group's really excited. Um, I think the young generation of footballers now that 
we, we've spoken a little bit. I played when, when COVID first happened and there were no crowds and my younger teammates really struggled with that. So uh, we think it's a fantastic opportunity to embrace um, what we know will be a wonderful atmosphere. And yeah, again, just encourage everyone, Adelaide and Port Adelaide, to come out and show your support for, for both clubs and particularly women's sport here in SA because I know that's part of the celebration of tomorrow night. Yeah, I think like honestly, I I think Lee Matthews in the, his reign at Brisbane, um, Doc will know. Um, I'm told his philosophy was, you know, any you can watch as much as you want, but at the end of the day, you got to beat the other team. So, you know, you think of philosophies around closed training sessions and hiding things and secrets. Footy's footy. Um, you got to go out there and play the game. Edge Foley warmed up for the showdown last week with her aggressive nature. Do you expect her to? <laughs> leave her mark on this showdown? I expect every one of our players to, to bring the contest tomorrow night. Will we see changes at selection? Later? Selection will come out later on the Savo. There might be a couple of changes. you expect Aaron to get roughed up? <laughs> I expect it to be a hotly contested game of footy. <laughs> Thanks team.